hello and welcome to another distro review video and before we proceed i've included the installation process at the end of the video so make sure to watch to the end today we look at artix linux it's a rolling release distro that is based on arch and is systemd free it instead offers the following options in place there is open rc r unit s6 and d in it it is simple fast and of course system d free as mentioned earlier its rolling release nature means it's constantly getting updated and you don't need to download new iso every time they are released weekly releases of isos are available for download on their official website it comes in a variety of desktop environments to choose from this include LXQT, LXDE, Mate Desktop, Cinnamon, KDE Plasma, and XFCE, which I believe is their flagship. As you can tell, what I have here is the KDE Plasma Desktop, and for this install, I chose to use the OpenRC version. You can also try the other variations and see for yourself how they perform. As this OS is based on Arch, Pacman is your main package manager and you can still access the AUR repository if you want. As for the window manager, I chose X11 at login because with Wayland it won't allow me to log in. When I entered my password, it loops back again and ask for password. I'm not sure if it's an issue with my virtual machine or the OS itself, but having the option to choose the window manager at the login is very helpful. So if you face this issue, make sure to pick X11 instead of Wayland. In terms of resources, the install requirements are not specified. I would suggest you allocate as much as you would for any other Arch distro. In my case, I gave it 4 gigs of RAM and 20 gigs of storage on a virtual machine. Logging at the system monitor, the RAM usage is barely 2 gigs and storage is still low. Uh, my Core i3 processor seems to be doing fine as well. Now, when it comes to pre-installed apps, there are very few of them, which I believe is a good thing. You get a media player, a browser a text editor, a document viewer, and of course, the file manager plus a terminal. This is a good thing, so you can install only the apps that you need and keep your Linux system simple and free of unnecessary junk. Overall, Artix Linux is a, simple, is a simple distro and is a suitable alternative if you can't install Arch itself. Its installation process is pretty simple and straightforward. You can try it and experience Arch Linux without going through the difficult process of installing the real Arch. Let me know what you think of this distro in the comment section. Bye for now and please do subscribe. And now to the installation process. Enjoy the rest of the video.